All right, so in the last video, we laid out all of the lights, smoke detector, and the fan for this one bedroom home. And in this video, we're going to wire it up. I've put the panel behind the door. This is a really tiny little house. Normally, the panel would be in an electrical room, or in the furnace room, hot water tank, that kind of area, in a basement. This is such a tiny little cottage. We're just going to end up with it behind the front door. As I've mentioned before, that when I do the home runs, I don't take the wires all the way to the panel. I just draw a line out. For example, I'm going to take power to this set of switches. This arrow indicates that we're actually going back to that panel, even though it's facing away. It will be 14.2 Lumex as my home run. So the first wire that's uh, coming out of your panel is always called the home run. And I'm going to a 15 amp single pole breaker for this circuit. Now, rule of thumb is that we only put 12 lights um, or combination of lights and smoke detectors, fans, things, things like that on one circuit. Nowadays with LEDs, there are some exceptions, but I don't know whether they're going to use incandescent bulbs in these lights or LED lights. So I'm going with a maximum of 12 on these circuits. Now I counted and I have more than 12 oh, in total. So I'm going to end up with two home runs. I'm going to split those home runs. I'm going to go from the panel this direction around the house and then from the panel this direction around the house. And I'm not going to try to load up these circuits to their max. I'm just going to try to make the wire work, uh, the length of wire work to minimize my wire. As I mentioned in the previous video, we laid out these uh, lighting air in each area and where the switches are going to be. So at the front door here, I've taken power, which is a hot and a neutral to that set of switches. And that means then I can pick up my porch lighting and go from the outside light switch, take a switch leg and a neutral up to that light. And then I can go over and pick up that one as well. So this is my switch leg and my neutral. Notice that there's no hot at either one of these two lights. So I can't keep going to another switch from the lights, but I could keep going from this set of switch because in there I have a hot and neutral. So always consider that when you're moving, uh, trying to go to the next switch. What we need to get to the switch to start off with is a hot and neutral, and then we leave from there uh, with a switch leg and a neutral up to the lights. Okay, what else do I have here? I already have a hot and neutral here. I'm going to pick up my entrance light for the switch light and the neutral. And then this three-way switch is for these two wall sconces in my living room. And it's tied together with my four-way switch and my other three-way out here. But before I jump into that three-way, I just want to draw the two circuits that I have already wired up. And so, I'm going to show you that in schematic view. What we have is our hot, and we come out, single pole switch, and we're picking up our entrance light, and then going back on the neutral. We're also picking up off another single pole switch, my outside porch lights. And I'll put those two in parallel. Now well, notice we have a hot going into the switch, switch like leaving the switch, and then a neutral going back to neutral. Here we have a hot going into the switch. At least this is all off the same breaker. And leaving with the switch leg, and these two lights each are fed the switch leg, and then each of their neutrals joins and goes back. The next what I'm going to wire up is going to be the four-way switch. So we use a three-way. And a four-way. And a 
another three way. The switch from three locations. And we're going to pick up two wall sconces. And those wall sconces are going to be again in parallel. All right. So here we're going to take a hot to the first common. We have travelers going through the four way switch into it. And then we're going to have travelers leaving the outs, going to the next three way switch. And then from the common of that three-way switch, we take a switch light up to that light and a switch light up to that light, and then the neutrals go back to neutral. So that's what we're going to wire up next. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so we already have power here, so we have a hot and neutral. So our hot goes into our three-way switch. We have to take a wire over to our four-way switch, and in that wire are going to be two travelers and the neutral. And then we have to get another wire over to the last three-way. It's going to have two travelers and a neutral. And then leading from that three-way switch, I'm just going to take a two-wire up. It's going to be a switch leg and a neutral. And then in parallel with that, Pick up this other light, and that's also a switch leg and a neutral. And that is what we've got wired here. Now, you may want to, or you may think that you could use this, all of this wiring, to keep going and pick up the three way switch for the kitchen. But if you look at what came into this switch, what we had here was a Traveler, a traveler, and a neutral. And what we had leaving was a switch leg and a neutral. Right now, there's no hot at that three-way switch. So we can't carry on with a hot and neutral because we don't have a hot there. Our last place that we actually had a hot was back here. This is our hot now neutral. So if I want to pick up this, this wiring for the three-way switch, I'm going to have to pick up my power from where it actually where I left it, and that's here. Now, often what we do is take the power, the hot and the neutral, to a place with multiple switches. So in this case, this has multiple switches down here. So I'm going to take my power all the way through to there. So now this wire as a hot and a neutral to those three switches. And now I can use that to wire up the entrance light. So the entrance light needs a switch leg and a neutral going up to the light. So that was the outside light. The entrance wire needs its switch leg and neutral. And then this three-way switch is joined with this three-way switch for these three pot lights. So right now I have a hot and a neutral at this end. What I need to do is take a three-wire over to there so that my travel, travel, and neutral are now going through here. And then from there, I can take a two-wire up to my two pot lights, three pot lights, and just join them in parallel. So I'll show you what this circuit looks like now on the schematic. Okay, so in this case, we only have two three ways. That's a three way. And that's the second three way. And then it goes up actually three pot lights in the pot lights are all in parallel with each other. So we have a hot going to the common, wherever travel, and a switch leg leaving that second common. That switch leg goes to each one of those lights, and then our neutrals head back to the common.
Right, so that's sort of one side of the house. So now what I'm going to do is wire up the other side of the house. And if you count, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on that circuit. I'm just going to go like this and put a little ten so that I know what I got. Now we're going to go to the bathroom. And I said a good place to take power to is um, a place with lots of switches. And so I'm going to take power out of this one. So that be my hot, my neutral, going back at the home run to this panel. So now I, I can wire up the switch legs to each of these things. So one of them was for your main light. This needs a switch leg and a neutral. One of them was for the sink light, and that just needs a switch light and a neutral. And this bathroom fan, fan is a little bit different in that today's fans have two settings. One that runs all the time, and one that comes on when the switch comes on. So it runs all the time on a really low setting and moves, how, moves air uh, continuously in and out of your house. And then when you're using the bathroom, so you're having a shower, you want to boost that up and have that fan running more vigorously to get the moisture out of your bathroom. And so what we do is instead of running a two wire up to that fan, we'd actually run a three wire. And what it would be is um, power all the time, so hot and a neutral would cause the fan to run all the time and then a switch leg in that same neutral. So it's a two speed fan and the switch leg would boost it up to a faster speed. And then, so I took power into the set of switches and I wired everything up in the bathroom. And now I've got to take power to this next set of switches. Just taking a hot and a neutral, that next set of switches. And what we want to wire up is the hallway light so I'm going to hit the switch leg and a neutral to that hallway light. And then I'm also going to take, take a switch leg and a neutral to the bedroom light. And then the only thing I have left to wire up are the two smoke detectors. They need a two wire to the first one. So I take a hot and a neutral to the first one. And then what we do is we run a three wire in between and the three wire, it, one of them is a hot and one of them is a neutral. And the third wire is a messenger in case there's an alarm in the bedroom, the second smoke detector would also alarm. And that's it. I think we've wired up that up.